Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming, and in this video tutorial, we're going to build an Easter dough bowl using this wood, it's acacia wood, from Walmart, rectangle bowl that I got. I looked online and it's still available. So we're going to build something for my bookshelves for Easter, and it's either going to have, it could be both, or switch either have this bunny which probably came from goodwill or this cross in the center so let me set this over here what we're going to start doing before we put things in there is we're going to start making some easter eggs and i just want a few in there this is one that i've made been working on this morning and i'll show you how to do this here is another one that I did this morning. It's not quite finished. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but it started his life out as one of these Dollar Tree things. And then, of course, I painted it with my favorite colored paint, uh, Waverly in plaster. And I'll probably do something to dress that up a little bit. And then we're going to work on this one. And this is just one of those little wood eggs. Stay with me because I'm going to give you some tips on how to arrange it, how to elevate the center, all of that jazz. Um, but let's hop in and do some eggs real quick. Okay. These Easter eggs are awesome, but they are super glue intensive. Okay, this is macrame cording. I wish it was a little bit thicker, but it's the right color. And so that's what I'm using. And I just started winding it on one end of this wood egg. I'm looking for uh, pieces to go in here that are gonna have some texture and interest, but guess what color I want them to be? Cream. Um, cream and tan or brownish is what I vision for this is and it's going to go on my bookshelves it's going to replace um, my winter one that has the ornaments that we made with wiffle balls and dollar tree rope okay so let's just this is a little time consuming i might not finish this one let me see i need my glue i might have to finish this one after um, I think I will, but basically you're just going to coil, 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 coil all the way around. And then I'll add some little doodads on it, maybe some of this Dollar Tree lace. Um, but I will get pictures of this when it's finished. Okay, so let's work on, let me show you how to make this super easy. And these are Dollar Tree items that it starts with. Um, these are some, I'm 99% sure I got these large styrofoam eggs at Dollar Tree. And that's what's inside this. It looks a lot larger once you have your Dollar Tree um, rope on it. That makes it bigger. two pieces of rope here in case it's not quite enough. All right, we're going to start at the bottom and I'm just going to put a blob of glue right here in the center. What do you guys think so far? Look at all those hearts and, and thumbs going up. I appreciate that. This is going to be so pretty and um, I was tempted, let me just tell you this, I was tempted to go make a trip to Walmart because I wanted some white tulips, faux tulips. But our son is here visiting from out west and he wanted me to watch some program with him on TV for a little bit. So I just dug in my box of faux florals and I'll show you what I'm gonna use instead. I would like this project a little better if it had white tulips. This was a, a, a floral piece that I picked up at Goodwill several years ago. I didn't know what I was going to do with it, 
um, it did go in this, t this is more of it right here, but this is what I have left. So this one comes together quicker. And you're just, um, you know, wrapping it around your egg and pushing it into the hot glue. And I'm using a low temperature hot glue gun. You can't see me. Okay, let me see what I can do. My tripod is wanting to tip over. So hopefully this will be fine. Okay. There is a way to remove the comments if that is what is blocking your view. Uh, but I'm not sure exactly what that is. And it's nothing that I can do from my side. So let's just get this puppy done. This idea reminds me very much of the wiffle balls that we turned into ornaments using almost the same techniques um, that look very, very similar. And when I'm all finished, I will get pictures of both things. So we're going to use, when it's time to put our, um, our dough bowl together, we're going to be using some Spanish moss. We're going to use this little riser that I made. Um, I have some little picks. Uh, I have a couple little rattan balls. And I have this sweet little nest that I made last year or the year before. And then we're going to be adding buttons to this and some legs. So it's going to be 9 million percent my style. And you know what? I was thinking about this. If you like different colors, you could put, you could do this same project and then just put accents of uh, smaller eggs in different colors in there or flowers. Um, absolutely whatever you want. I'm getting there. It's just it's a little while and oh my word. Look at my glue glue gluing device. I'm gonna go a little bit further and then I'm gonna show you what I did at the very top. I wanted to be able to poke a little hanging thing into it. So that was made with this Dollar Tree lace that I love so much. I'm just cutting off some of it and I'm going to do a knot here at the end. And I'm going to tie that as tight as I can get it. Okay. You're probably wondering, well, how am I going to attach it? Well, this is how I'm going to attach it. I'm just going to poke a hole in my styrofoam. I'm going to make it big enough here at the very top that I can stick this knot into it and hot glue it. Let's be a little bit bigger. I think that's going to work. Okay, so let's put some hot glue in here and then let's just stick our little knot down into it as far as we can. And look. Now let's finish the coiling. And then I'll show you how I embellished mine with, of course, my favorite vintage uh, Mother of Pearl buttons. Lots of people are on. If you like this video, um, feel free to sprinkle it. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Um, 
mostly everything that we're using I either got at a thrift store or Walmart or Dollar Tree or it's just been in my basement craft area for years like the Spanish moss I have absolutely no idea where that came from wow that is perfect this is just one um, one length of the Dollar Tree rope and I am going to have to cut it a little bit shorter. And this stuff will completely unravel and be a big mess unless you put a tape around it um, and then cut through the tape. So I'm going to cut it shorter. Okay. And I'm going to put a big blob of glue in there and poke it down into the center. And here we go. And then what I did, um, which I'll do separate, I'll do off camera, I made a little bow that I glued on the top. But the fun part was the buttons. So let me just grab some of these. And then we'll start arranging um, the, we'll start arranging our dough bowl. Okay. I want a variety. And I mean, all, all this is, is you just randomly pick a spot. I started with the larger buttons first. I'm just gluing them on. So you get the gist of that. You're just going to continue gluing buttons on until you have it covered to the amount that you like. Let's move these out of the way. Let's talk about assembling an Easter-ish double. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. Acacia wood. I bought it last year or the year before at Walmart. It was $27. Um, you can order this online and you can you might even be able to find it in the store at this point. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to put some kind of a little riser in here, and this is something that we made, and I'm gonna do it slightly off-center just slightly. And then let's pop our bunny in while we're fiddling around. And um, okay, then the next thing I did was I just basically laid this thing of flowers right here. Kind of going out one of the corners. And then I I'm trying to remember exactly how I did this. I popped these in. This is the one that I painted. And when I have that other one with this with the macrame cording on it, I will um, put that in here. Okay, let me look at it for a second. I fiddled with it for a long time before I came live so that I would be ready. Okay, and then I'm going to throw in some, just two, little rattan balls. I am going to throw in this precious little nest. And 
this probably won't be the last go at this. I'll probably continue to fiddle around with it for a little while, but let me cut some of this off. These, um, I don't know what they came off of. They sort of remind me of lamb's ear, which is what I wished that I had to work with, but I didn't. I'm just going to pop some of that in there. I probably cut it off of something. I can't even remember. And here it is. You know, it's not completely styled, but this is a good start for Easter, and I'm going to show you. I think it would look great with some of these eggs that have this cream colored cording on it, and it's macrame cording, um, in a smaller size. So I will plunk some of those in as well. And, um, okay, so this is with the bunny theme. This would look great on a dining room table, a kitchen table. I'm going to put it on my bookshelves. But if you don't want a bunny, why not put a cross? And this cross I've had for, I don't know, 10 years. It sort of looks good with the wood base. What do you guys think? I was experimenting earlier, and I want to show you some of this, um, with an idea to add a little color. And so these are just bits and pieces off of various things. And I was thinking that some purple could look really pretty in here. So what I hope you get is just the general idea. Um, you do want odd numbers, if possible. Um, I like things to be slightly off-center. Notice this riser and this stuff is a smaller area than this over here. I would have loved this a lot more if I had a bunch of pretty decent faux white tulips. I think that would have looked pretty. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. So I have a lot more to do to finish up these eggs and I need to figure out something to do to embellish this one because I just painted it with that Waverly paint, uh, this. And it started its life out like this from Dollar Tree. So tell me in the comments what you think um, as soon as I get everything complete, I will share pictures. I'll put it in my bookshelves with that beautiful um, Just Breathe sign that we made yesterday. Yeah, I can get some white tulips, Melanie, and add them later. Yes, absolutely, and I probably will. Um, but I want to get really good ones. I heard from somebody that they had pretty decent white tulips at Target, but they were like a dollar per stem. So I don't know, I'll, I'll go look and see. And then if, if I can't find what I want there, I will check at Dollar Tree and I will check at Walmart. Yeah, isn't this crazy, the change in color? 
And what I like about it, the reason why I chose to do this, is the texture. Because when you're doing an all white or all cream colored um, dough bowl, especially if I was using my bunny here, it can be a little boring if you don't have something of interest. And I think the Dollar Tree rope, plus the texture on this ornament, plus a few little rattan balls, a little greenery, greenery that um, gives it some interest. Okie dokie. Well, I hope you liked this. Um, let me know if you did. Let me know if you have questions. If you want to, uh, I could possibly stencil it. Yes, somebody's asking me that question. If you uh, want to know the specifics of like, how did I make these? Just um, come back to the replay and you'll be able to see it step by step. Oh, okay. Sandra's telling me the ones at Target are more rubbery than silk, but they're pretty, huh? I will have to go check it out. And I may add some little small doodads in here too. So, okay. Well, you guys have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day. Um, I hope you will come back tomorrow and on Sunday for more craft projects here at DIY Dreaming that are going to be quick and easy. They are um, going to be affordable. They are, you don't have to be an artist or have power tools. Um, they're going to um, sometimes be a little unusual, like gluing Dollar Tree rope on a um, styrofoam egg. <laughs> Uh, but mostly, the most important thing to me is they're going to either involve faith, family, or flowers. So come back for that. Uh, do a this or a this. That's a heart. Um, check to see if you've liked and followed this page and all that regular good jazz. Uh, okay, Debbie Cox says that she heard that Amazon has some lifelike tulips. Oh, I'm going to have to look. Yeah. You know, when you're ordering from Amazon, if you just look at the, um, the ratings and read maybe 10, I always click to read the most recent ones, not the most popular ones, then you can really get an idea of whether the item on Amazon is good or not. Okay, you guys, have a great day. I'll see you later. We'll be fiddling around with this for a little while until I get it exactly like I want it.